My name is Matilda McQuaid, and I'm Acting Curatorial Director here at Cooper Hewitt's Smithsonian Design Museum, as well as one of the curators for this exhibition, Acquired, Shaping the National Design Collection. This exhibition, um, Acquired, Shaping the National Design Collection, is first and foremost about our amazing collection here at Cooper Hewitt's Smithsonian Design Museum. We have a collection of over 215,000 objects, but this exhibition takes about 170 of those and puts them into a context related to some of our recent acquisitions that we've made since 2017 and puts them into a, a historic context with acquisitions that have been made um, decades before. The collection process has evolved over time, although I have to say our foundation of our collection, which was started by the Hewitt sisters 125 years ago, really is still, is still our foundation. It's still really important to who we are. And we constantly are looking at both um, what they collected as well as, you know, sort of after them, um, which continued in their practice of kind of decorative arts. But I think as the years have gone by, I think just as design has expanded, so has our collection. And I think I remember when, you know, digital was kind of seen as, is that design? And, but it is, and we actually added a digital department um, just last year. The themes within the exhibition are three. Um, we have the embrace the past, confront the past, and then new ways forward. Embrace the past, is, um, is really using the past for inspiration. Many designers um, use either aspects of the past, whether stylistically or use traditions from the past and really interpret them in new ways. So this is, that's all about um, embrace the past. Confront the past, um, designers are looking at the past and sometimes asking questions, interrogating some of the um, ideas of the past, whether it's about racial injustices, and it's sometimes using some of the, the patterns um, or aesthetic motifs from the past and using them for contemporary interpretations, such as the work by Faith Greengold, who uses a mid-century, mid-20th century Cuba textile, the kind of triangular patterns um, in her poster about um, free Angela Davis. Um, and then the final theme is New Ways Forward, which takes pretty much most of the exhibition, and that's looking at kind of new priorities of collecting, whether it's digital. Um, we added a digital department just last year, um, sort of really prioritizing women in design, um, BIPOC designers, um, black indigenous people of color, um, LGBTQ plus um, designers, and then also ideas of sustainability and socially responsible design. So we have kind of sections of each of these areas in the exhibition. In terms of how we decided on the objects, we did we went down lots of different paths, and you know, I'm a very object centric person, as I think a lot of our curators are. So in some ways, we kind of started with the objects, knowing that we were going to have this kind of structure around the, our collection stewardship plan and the four priorities, but not wanting to have those kinds of titles. Um, so we wanted it more accessible to the museum visitor. So, um, so we first divided it up in those categories. and chose objects that really fit into those categories or could straddle more than one. And so I think we kind of st we started with both at the same time, but more and more, and I worked with, you know, all of the curators, um, especially those in the collecting departments, because they know their collections the best. And so there were recent acquisitions that I really wanted to show, and so, you know, I would ask them, well, what are other acquisitions that you really feel like should be out there that haven't been seen and that are relatively recent? So they would give their suggestions. And so it was kind of, you know, combining all of these things together and, and getting feedback from them along the way um, to see how some of these groupings worked. And then it also comes down to kind of visual 
because we could have done the show, you know, 50 times over, but ultimately what hangs together as a group, wanting to represent both recent acquisitions as well as historical acquisitions. The collection really reflects the mission of the museum in terms of empowering people with design. I think people don't always understand what design is and what, you know, what design is out in the world, not only within our museum. So I think this exhibition and um, really kind of follows that mission because it, it shows the expansiveness of design. It's also to um, kind of relay that information about design to an audience that is probably so familiar with design they don't think of it as something special. Just understanding the importance of design um, in our daily life.